Hello guys, welcome to another edition of this do-it-yourself channel. Today I'm gonna be installing a dog water feeder. What it does is that you know it always has have fresh water. How does it work? Well, the trick is in here inside, right? and it has that valve. You connect the hoses through there, the hose. And um, well, this is the leveler, so that way they can shut the water off. And obviously, it has this plate right here, so that way the dogs cannot mess with the uh, valve, because uh, you know how dogs are. Uh, I believe this thing comes from China, that's why it doesn't have any uh, instructions. But it does come with an extra extra valve, which I love that. That's pretty good. And it can it came with uh, show you I already purchased some stuff. It came with the uh, metal hose, which is this one right here, uh, with an easy disconnect on one end. Uh, I had to buy another. Uh, Hose because it's gonna be a little bit longer and this is what I had to purchase which is a half inch faucet connection and look for that number which is uh, 150 the number 150 because it's got both of uh, the uh, half inch uh, uh, connections on, on both of the ends and we need that uh, I also had to purchase a, uh, a nipple a half inch nipple this is it right here is the part number LFA 833 so that way we can make the connections right here in the middle as you can see to make it longer now this end is the one that is going to be connected right in here okay that end and the other end which is, uh, what is it? it's right in here it's gonna be connected to the water hose outlet and this is the easy disconnect so that way you can connect and disconnect easy okay guys it came with the uh, two anchors concrete anchors which which I am gonna be using and uh, I'll show you how to use them all right okay so uh, let's get it done. All right, guys. So I decided to install the uh, water feeder on concrete, uh, and it's gonna be low to. Uh, the reason it's gonna be low is because I have a small dog. I can put it right here, and even with this height, the small dog will not be able to drink this guy the other two will but this one does now I also could have put the bolts on the wood which will be a lot easier to do however I don't like it so I'm gonna be it's gonna be do on concrete so I just put two levels and I'm gonna mark where I want the uh, water container to be at which is uh, somewhere around here obviously if you have a level It'll be much better, and uh, all right, have this fluffy. Uh, we're going on vacation, and uh, I just can't afford to put three, three dogs on a uh, uh, hotel. So, uh, as long as they have good water and uh, enough food for a week, they know how to take care of themselves. Uh, also with a lot of plenty of shade now as you can see the nearest water connection is about mm, about five feet all right so that's why I had to make two connections for uh, for this so now the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pop pop out this 
and I'm going to use the holes here. And I think it's still pretty high. So I'm probably going to have to go lower, much lower than I expected. Uh, yeah, like somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. I'm just gonna make the marks for the holes where I want. See it right here? Alright. So this is my marks and this is where the, the container is gonna be at. Alright, so let's get the let's get for the next step which is to do the holes for the anchors. All right, so I got these anchors. They're concrete anchors. Um, there's a lot of different type of anchors. Um, this is the one that it came with the kit. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're 3 8 So what do we use to do the uh, hole? We use a 3 8 drill bit, uh, masonry drill bit. Now, you want, you want to go deep at least about half inch the length of the anchor, at least half inch more, about right here, at least that, to make this thing work properly, because we're going to be sticking this in the concrete and then tightening it, all right? So you can either put marks with a pencil or a tape or I don't know why, what do you want to do, but you got to put some marks in here. And let's get it done. I don't know if my battery is completely charged, but I'm going to try. And we're going to do the holes where the marks are on it. Start making the holes. Uh, it'll be better if you use a hammer drill, but I don't have it with me right now. So I'm gonna get it started. Okay. Okay, guys. I just want to show you how easy this thing it is. A hammer drill will do a better job. Let's keep going to the depth that I told you, okay? Let's do bow holes and I come back to you. Alright guys, so I just want to show you how deep I went. Now I almost did the whole drill bit. On both holes and uh, it's kind of like push it in and out so that way you can bring all the dirt out well I was lucky enough that the battery just drained out but I was lucky enough that I completed both holes so I'm ready to go on with this little project which alright guys let's get it done so once we have the holes made uh, the next thing to do is to bring the anchors out but before that we're gonna get the proper the right size of uh, socket and uh, to have it ready we need socket and probably a little extension all right so that way we can complete and of course it will take a 3 8 socket for a 3 8 anchor we got this little extension Got a little extension and we're gonna get the ratchet ready for what we're gonna do next. We may need a little 
hammer, and I should tell you why, why, and use that to anchor it. But uh, let's let's get this done. All right. So for the next step, we're gonna have to bring the anchors to the holes. Both of them. You might have to unscrew it just a, a little bit so that way this can pass through there. All right. So this is what you got. Okay. And it's time for us to try to hook it onto the uh, concrete. So let's go. Out. So we're gonna get the anchors through the holes. So we gotta get the next one on there inside, just like this. So we gotta get these anchors through the holes. So here is where we might need a hammer. So once it's inside, now all we have to do is tighten them up each one. Just like this. And I can guarantee you guys this thing is not gonna come out. Same on the other side. All right, guys, this thing is as hard as it can be. It will not go nowhere. You're talking about the dog or the water? Dog? Both of them. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. All right, guys. So what? We, we, the only thing we have to do is put the hose uh, through the water feeder and. Uh, hook the uh, hose or clamp it to the wall and for that I bought me these stainless steel bolts I don't want to I don't want for them to get rusted um, 8 by 5 8 and I also bought me these clamps now these three quarter clamps are a little bit too big but they didn't have the half inch and I want to finish with the job today so I just gonna get some of these but if you find some smaller well get them and I'm just gonna grab some, quite a few, and I'm gonna go outside and and uh, complete the job of hooking up the hose to finish the project. Okay. All right. So we're out here, and the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna hook up this end to the uh, inlet. Make sure it's got the gasket on it. Otherwise, there's gonna be some water leaks. And then tighten it by hand first. We worry about tightening it with pliers later on. Right now we just want everything in place. Remember that you're dealing with plastic, so...
I'm gonna go up to the wall and start clamping this thing all the way around, all the way to the hose, okay? So let's get it done. Okay, so the way it's gonna work is that this end, he goes on the water, on the water outlet, okay? We use pliers later on. This side of the hose, it pops in in here for a rapid, quick disconnect. And then we're gonna start clamping it into the wall. Alright guys, so I put the first clamp there and I'm just gonna go all the way around until I reach almost the uh, end of the uh, hose, okay? So I'll get you back whenever I clamp everything on. Okay guys, so I was short as you saw earlier so i had to make up for the rest of the uh, hose so i bought me this one it's a number 142 it's a 12 inch one foot uh half inch okay and i uh, just make sure it's uh the 142 because you need the uh, this both connections so both ends all right so i'm gonna make up for this and connect this and and uh uh, finalize the uh, job that we're doing on the uh, water automatic water feeder all right guys so let's do it so the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna install the 3 8 no right there no keep on We're gonna install this end right in here. Yet. Okay guys, so this is what's happening. Uh, the gasket seems to be too thick and it's not letting it's not letting me go in with uh, the nipple, the blasting nipple. So I'm going to have to improvise and I'm probably going to have to reduce this uh, gasket. Um, not quite sure how am I going to do this, but uh, um, Probably cut it with a sharp knife and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that and see what happens. But yeah, that's that's how that's what I'm so I'm gonna use one of these knives. To cut in it. And I'm just hoping that it's gonna work. Now it's going to go all the way around, just like this. Be careful with your hands, obviously. Guys, this is just an improvise. Uh, it probably uses a different type of gasket. 
Who knows? There is no instructions at all. So yeah, I made it flat like this. So I'm just gonna pop it inside. And that's gonna give me that's gonna give me more threads to catch on on the plastic. And well obviously the plastic is gonna land against the rubber gasket and we're gonna make a seal. Uh, that's what we're gonna attempt to do and uh, well, hopefully it works. Uh, this is what this channel is all about is about improvisation. Improvise things that we can not do so let's try it. For the other side I have the nipple in which I'm probably gonna tighten it right now. I'm gonna do it right now at least on this end. I'm gonna have it ready. It'll be much easier to, to do it right now. For that remember that I had I had this nipple uh, part number LFA 8333 or 764097 hex nipple is a half inch and uh, I was gonna cut out with a knife but this is the way to do it just in case you need to return it well they made it that simple but a lot of people just cut it <laughs> Unbelievable. So yeah, I got this a little bit flattened so that way I can catch plastic and on this side I'm just gonna throw the nipple inside. Alright. This one it catches really good. I don't understand why the plastic is not catching on. Uh, anyway, it should but it's not. So I'm just gonna tie this one really good. Alright, so I got it, now I'm going to go to the outside and try to put it on the plastic, alright, so let's do it. So let's see if this catches on, and it did catch on a lot better, wait, no, yeah, it did catch on, so I'm going to just tighten them up, being very careful because uh, remember this plastic so our improvisation it did work and let's just tighten them up Sorry for the camera guys, I'm struggling right here because I got the docks in here. I know it's moving, there is a nut right here on the bottom, I wish it did move. Okay guys, so what I'm doing is that I'm going to hold with one hand the inside of the valve. The camera is moving a lot guys because I'm having a chest. Uh, holder camera holder and I got the dogs that are bothering me but I'm gonna hold the uh, with one hand the inside valve and I'm gonna tighten the outside so that way it doesn't move okay and I think I got it I think I got it. Now the only thing we have to do is connect the dots, which is right here. I'm gonna connect this other end. And we're basically basically done. I'm 
going to hold this right in here. Tighten up. All right. Now I got it. I'm just going to make sure that uh, all the uh, connections are tight. And if they are, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna see what what happens and I'm gonna check for leaks and uh, well let's see. I can see there is a leak on the uh, There is a leak on the uh, inlet, so I'm gonna keep tightening it. I'm gonna tighten it some more. No. All right, guys. So after a couple of tights, it seems like if everything came out good. I don't see any leaks there. This stopped the water from coming out. I got all the uh, checking all the uh, junctions and everything. Everything seems to be all right. Now the dogs are gonna have fresh water. You gotta close the, the metal valve so that way the dogs won't uh, damage the uh, plastic valve. And they're happy campers. They're gonna have fresh water. No matter how hot it is, as they drink the water from there, it, it consumes and it comes out fresh water. So this installation is done, guys. If you like this video, please bring the pump, put the pump up, turn on the bell, and I will see you on my next video. Hope it's for dummies. Alright guys, I'll see you later.